This is Danielle Sanders from the Chicago Defender, and I am here at Semicolon Bookstore. I am here with Daryl Lewis of Waddell and Reed, and we're talking about financial literacy. April is Financial Literacy Month, so I want to thank you, Mr. Lewis, for coming and talking to the Chicago Defender today. My pleasure. So as we talk about financial literacy, there was a report out that said most Americans still aren't very um, knowledgeable when it comes to the area of personal finance. Would you agree? Well, yes, I would agree. Um, but uh, it's a lot better than it was, say, 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, there's a lot of folks out there that uh, they understand how important it is to uh, know the difference between saving, investing, and of course your debt. Mm -hmm. That has everything to do with financial literacy. So it has changed somewhat, but uh, we're still lagging behind a bit. Well, right now we're in the middle of inflation, incredible inflation, rising costs. What advice would you give to your average middle class family who wants to save, who wants to invest, but they also have to deal with the rising costs of their household? Mm -hmm. That's a great question. One of the main things uh, regarding uh, inflation is to understand that uh, there's nothing we can do about inflation. Uh, it's something that uh, will continue. Of course, we know that inflation has hit the uh, highest point ever recently, um, over 8 percent. And uh, it does put a damper on uh, things that we do, you know, financially as a family. But one of the uh, things that to consider is just continue to do what you're currently doing. I mean, continue to work hard, continue to save and invest your money. Um, we let the Federal Reserve handle inflation. Mm -hmm. You know, they've already uh, instituted uh, several rate increases, which should stave off the high inflation. Uh, but, you know, inflation is definitely a factor because it could also lead to a recession. Right. So we want to be careful about that. Right. One of the things uh, that we've kind of focused on as a whole when talking about financial literacy is the importance of educating our teens and our young people. And our teens are used to everything being electronic, Zelle, Cash App, PayPal, things like that nature. How do we go about educating our, our young people to give them that head start when it comes to financial literacy? Mm -hmm. Well, we simply conform to the time because you're absolutely right. We're in the electronic age and uh, that's exactly, you know, what's going on now. Um, we still talk to them, uh, those teens. We know the children, the children are the future. So uh, those teens, uh, especially, you know, they must know the difference. We have to teach them the difference between saving and investing. Um, they must understand that a portion of all they earn is theirs to keep. You know, we talk to them about uh, putting themselves first in the front of the line. Always save a portion of uh, your funds, you know, that you earn for the future. And uh, most of that is done electronically, you know, through websites and things like that. Right. You know, a lot of teens today, uh, of course, uh, they learn everything they can on YouTube, mm -hmm. you know. So, uh, of course, there's a ton of information out there, you know, regarding um, saving and investing. So we continue to teach in that way. Well, you're a financial advisor, so can you tell me a little bit about your role at Waddell & Reed? Mm -hmm. Well, what I do is um, we do total financial planning. We develop uh, fundamental uh, financial plans for clients, for businesses. Uh, financial plan is pretty much a roadmap. It's a roadmap to your finances. You know, it shows you um, how to get to where you're trying to get financially. Um, a plan is definitely needed for that. And, uh, you know, there's a wise man that once said, uh, um, if, uh, if you don't have a plan for where you're going, then every road you take will lead nowhere. Mm. You know, so it's very important to map out what your goals are financially and uh, how to get there. You know, for instance, retirement, how much money you'll need in retirement, how long will that those funds need to last. You know, these are all things that are done or mapped out in a financial plan. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's pretty much what I do. 
Now, when when is the, when does someone know, you know what, it's time for me to get a financial advisor? What's a good time to do that? That's a great question. Um, well, you know, of course, as a financial advisor, I say, you know, as right. soon, right, exactly, <laughs> right now, you know, as soon as you um, uh, are trying to plan, whether it's for, um, you know, there's a lot of things that we plan for. I mean, it could be uh, uh, you're planning for your child's education. You're planning to buy a home. That could be over the short term. Child's education could be over the long term. You're planning for retirement. Um, so there's a lot of planning that needs to go into that. You know, so uh, getting a financial advisor to uh, help you navigate those roads um, you want to do that as soon as possible because you need that plan in order to um, uh, not not just to get started, but to make sure that you have the right um, tools available in order to to meet you know those financial goals that you have. Right. Now, as we close out uh, Financial Literacy Month and Money Smart Week, is there any other advice that you would give to our, our readers uh, when it comes to financial literacy and planning? Mm -hmm. Well, I would say just continue to, uh, you know, there was, for instance, you know, I've been in the business 38 years. So 30, 38 years ago, uh, in, in investing to get someone to invest was like pulling teeth, mm -hmm. you know. Now they thought it was uh, uh, more of a luxury to right. own, to have an investment, but nowadays it's uh, it's it's more of a necessity, mm -hmm. and folks understand that. So that's the key, you know, to really understand that investing is a necessity. And uh, you must um, uh, meet with that financial advisor in order to, uh, to, to get you started and to, you know, to really do what you need to do. Um, a portion of all you earn is yours to keep. And, uh, and, and that's the key, you know. I mean, you have to really realize um, the road that you're traveling and there's all sorts of pitfalls that's gonna come into play. But having that plan will allow you to navigate those roads as well as the pitfalls and get back on the right track. That's good advice. Well, thank you so much for talking to the Chicago Defender. Thank you so much, I appreciate it.